Hey folks, today we're working on the 2017 R1200GS and doing all the maintenance on it. Um, just got done changing the oil and um, going through and I'm going to check the air filter, clean it. I've got a k and in there and um, next thing I want to do actually is reset the service indicator so turn this thing on and of course because of the camera you can see all the flickering but um, it is saying calling for service and then uh, let's see here odometer is 11,867 so service intervals are 6,000 miles um, and the uh, I believe the spark plugs are 12,000 if I'm not mistaken so I also did the the spark plugs today and um, just want to reset this service indicator so uh, anyway I've got I've got a tool to do that it's the uh, the hex GS 911 and I think this is an old style but it does come with the the USB and the tool and I've got the the software loaded on my laptop so I'll show you how this all um, gets connected but basically there's a um, there's a connector underneath here it's similar to the one that is in your car it is a CAN bus and I'll just get that exposed so I can get this thing plugged in and show you what I'm doing okay so getting a little deeper into this thing uh, this cover there's there's one bolt that holds it on and it's got some uh, some tabs here that there's one here and one up here that those pins stick into and this is where the battery is located and then this um, programming port or the the CAN bus is underneath here now this is a little tricky because I've got um, got my wiring for my battery charger here um, connected directly uh, to the battery and <clears throat> it's a little bit in the way so there's like a catch or something on this uh, connector it's hard to do it with one hand while filming so I'm gonna have to put the camera down but um, there is like a little hook on it right back here that you have to push back and then I think you can pull this thing out so just give me a second to do that Okay, that's exactly what it was. There's a there's a little catch hook back there, and it slides on to slides on right there. It's it's kind of hard to get it. Um, and then this, you just press these on on each side, and the cover should come right off of there. And I'll just go ahead and do that. Put the camera down for a second. Okay, there we go, the cover's off, and there is the CAN bus connector. Alright, so I'm going to get my computer hooked up and get this uh, GS911 plugged in here. Okay, so it is plugged into the bike, and it's telling me to auto scan, which I will do. Okay, so this thing is a little bit finicky when it comes to battery voltage. Um, I've got the uh, two chargers plugged into this thing and uh, right now the battery is on charge and you can see that the computer is reading 
13.1 volts and I'm going to go ahead and turn the ignition on and I actually removed the, um, the GPS because I thought that that would be pulling additional um, power but you can see my service light is still on so the goal here is to get that to turn off off so give me one moment I'm gonna reset service reminder all right my voltage is 12 and a half volts and um, it's given me the option here to uh, reset the service reminder Okay, and then it's going to set it to July 2024, 18,000 miles. So it's just doing it 365 days. It's really not even, um, well, I guess it is adding that mileage. So anyway, there you go. Um, it looks like the service indicator is off. So mission accomplished. I am going to run some other diagnostics on this thing to uh, just check some things and make sure I don't have any any other diagnostic codes or anything like that. But uh, you know, um, I don't know how much this thing cost me. I, I forget. I've had it since I owned the bike, but I'll tell you, it's probably worth its weight in gold and not having to bring the bike into the dealer when I do the service because uh, it has probably paid for itself already a couple of times. So uh, there you go, that is the GS911.